and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I got my friend Keith with us again. How are you doing, Keith? How's it going, Mark? Good. Keith's going to be riding the Rad Rover this time around again. And I'm going to be riding the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser. And on this kind of semi warm day, kind of cool, I don't know what you Could would call it. Any second. 50 ish knows? degrees right now. Uh, we're heading to Eibach Park, and neither one of us have been there before, so it's a first time for both. Keith's going to lead the way, so here we go. I just got to turn on my... Is that the bell to start your engines? <laughs> yeah. All right. One thing I like about the ride uh, one up is that the Cafe Cruiser here is that it keeps your pedal assist that you were last in it doesn't change it, it keeps it in memory. So here we go, I'm in pedal assist three, uh, gear eight. What do you got there, Keith? I'm in three, I'm in uh, gear number seven. This one goes up to seven. Right. So pretty much the highest gear and pedal assist number three. I'm a little bit surprised that we don't have rain at the moment because they were talking about rain, but we may be lucking out here today, at least right now for our ride. So we're going to go a little bit here onto the highway, Pacific Highway right here. And then we have to make the tricky left turn. This highway is always a busy highway, Pacific Highway or 99W, if you're familiar with this area at all. So the bike lane kind of ends right here and we're going to be right with the traffic. Get up to five here. we can at the light up here. This can be tricky. With all the traffic. Yeah, we have to try to get... Should we try to go over now? There is a crosswalk up there. Oh, okay. Let's, we might have to do that. Okay. So we're going to do the crosswalk this time around to get across here. Kind of difficult. Lots of traffic. Yeah, 
if we had the uh, faster bikes, you might go there. I've, I've gone there lots, but on these bikes, maybe not. Let's, get over there. let's show everybody what the traffic is looking like. It's not too bad at the moment. And that way, it looks like nobody's coming out. We could have got over there, but we would be waiting. Yeah. And maybe holding them up. So I'm going to get up to the sidewalk, then ride the sidewalk down to the next light, and then I'll get back across, okay? All right. I'll just follow whatever way you want to go here. Okay. Yeah, looks like we're changing here. There we go. I put it up to PAS 5 and now it just flies. I don't like that. You have to put the light on. Yeah, I guess that's the only wave right there safely get across. Gonna be cars turning here right oh. behind you. Yeah, I got straight in my seat too. Cars are coming up to that way from the go by. If we would have went in the car lane, we could have been on that side, but it's tough there to to get across. Here we go. Just shows, you know, bike lanes are not perfect. No, they're not perfect. What left turns are always difficult. That's my least favorite is the left turn. Right turns are fine, left turns are tough. Yeah, the problem comes when you're trying to make left turns. Yep.
How many bars do you have for your battery? What's that? How many bars do you have up? I'm still at five. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty fully charged. I mean, it wasn't, when I took it off the charger, it wasn't completely full, but it's very close. I mean, all the bars are lit up, so it had to be close to being completely charged. Yeah, this one went down one bar when I had a pedal assist five, but right here on pedal assist three, it's staying right at full charge. So just to let everybody know that this bike here is 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery. Keith is running the 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery. So they're pretty close for size. Except for the tire. Yeah, you're running the fat tire four inch and I've got the three inch on this. And that is a huge difference on these bikes. Yeah, I think it with the narrower tires there, the three inch, I think we get a little more speed and maybe distance too. We haven't done the full range test yet. So we're up to Twalton Sherwood Road. One thing I do on this bike, when I get to the light, I downshift to my fifth gear. And I'm sure on that bike, you don't even have to downshift it to get it going. But I put it in fifth gear, that way it gives me a little bit more to get going on, you know? Yeah, I mean, I just use the throttle to get started, then I just am able to pedal no problem. Because the bike just takes right off, you know? Yeah. But there are advantages on that bike. Being lighter weight at the lights, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, for takeoff. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's an excellent bike to cruise to work every day. Yeah, it's a nice, easy bike. I mean, riding over here where we are right now, I was going about pretty, right around 20 miles per hour. So pretty consistent. Right. So we're heading to Eibach Park, which is a park that neither Keith nor I have been to before, so uh, we're going to check it out. Just a community park.
Oh, I can't let him get too far ahead of me. Let's crank it up. We get the coast down the hill. Oh, that was a good test for a hill, and this bike has no problem. Goes right up. Did you have to gear? I heard you changing gears there. You had to gear down. Did you have to work a little bit to get up that hill? Yeah, that's why I want to talk to you right there. So I had to put it pedal assist five and I had the throttle all the way and yeah the, the motor was starting to you know I still had a pedal pretty good right there on that hill. Yeah. I got more cars. Let me go to the Yeah with this one you know what? I could hear the motor slowing down a little bit, but my pedaling, I didn't have to overexert or anything. It was just right up. Yeah, this one, I definitely had to exert more into my legs for sure. That was a short hill, but uh, that just gives you an example of how this one does, like a little bit of how it does. Uh, so if anybody's interested in something that can climb a hill without having to exert yourself, you yeah. know, you just, you know, you just pedal your normal pedal and it just goes right on up. So that one just kind of flew right up, right? But I was in PAS five right now and, uh, so that made it in gear eight so so this one on pas5 and i had it in gear five so not the highest gear of seven I'm in gear eight right there i was still having a little you know trouble getting up that hill and uh i'm still at full battery yeah i'm still at five but it, it does go down one bar when i'm going up a hill or something i yeah. haven't noticed that okay let's keep on going yeah they'll do there'll be a little sag there when you're going up yeah Okay, we're gonna get back on the road here. And let this car go by first. Ah, oh, I see so many Teslas. Let's catch up to Keith. I'm seeing so many Teslas on the road these days. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, looks like we found our park. the uh, sign right there Eibach Park
All right, let's head in. Looks a little wet at the baseball diamond, but makes me want to get out and play some baseball. All right, so this is Ibach Park. We made it, Keith, and uh, that was a pretty fun ride. Yeah, it sure was. Got to test the Rad Rover and the yeah, the and. Surprisingly, no rain. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, off, Keith, right? for joining me on this video. All right, Mark. <laughs> and there's another look. Beautiful park. It is a nice park. Yeah. yeah it is. I was expecting it to be a little smaller, actually, than this. This is a little bigger than I thought. Yeah, lots of rain in Oregon. Now the spring flowers are starting to come out. All right. Well, thank you, Keith, for joining me on this video. And th right. let's thank our bikes. We never thank our bikes. Yeah, so right. thank you to the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> How about thank you for and, no flat tires? <laughs> and no flat tires, even though there was crap in the uh, bike lane. Yeah, I saw that. So uh, thank you to the Rad uh, Rover for taking us along as well. And uh, thank you guys for uh, hanging with us here on this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you uh, would like to subscribe and support the channel, please hit that subscribe button and help support us. Thank you very much for that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Keith, for this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.